small team in San Francisco just beat OpenAI, Anthropic, and Google at their own game. And they built an AI agent that basically outperforms GPT-5 and Claude, even when using those exact same models. And they just raised $50 million because companies like MongoDB, Zapier, are seeing 31 times faster development with their tool. And yesterday, I tested Droids Live for the first time. And honestly, it did things that I haven't seen any other agent pull off. So I want to introduce you today, my guest, his name is Ino Reyes from Factory AI, and he's a technical founder who are using droids to write code daily. I think kind of the first thing is like you're beating OpenAI's agents and GPT-5. How is that even possible? The sort of general principle that we go into everything with is there are lots of unknowns with LLMs. And if you start to look at all the different things that are needed in order to solve these more complex benchmarks like Terminal Bench, there's just such a long tail of things that are not related to the model's own capabilities itself. And what I mean by that are, if you need to, as an example, run a command and then wait for it to finish while you're doing something else, that is a feature of a product not something that is like inherently LLM bottlenecked. And there are hundreds of these behavioral patterns and, and, and configurations and, and really like product level decisions that you have to bring into your agent that are that really fall ultimately on the scaffold. And so what we found is that a lot of benchmarks really help you explore and test all of these micro decisions at a much faster rate than what user feedback can provide. All right, here's what I'm doing. I'm running droids against the same features I just built in Claude Code, tracking tokens, time, and what breaks. Factory gave me 40 million tokens to share with you, and the link is below. If you want to try it, tag me with what you're seeing. I want to know if the 74% token savings actually holds up across different code bases, or if that's just me. 